Hello, hello. This video is not going to be long. I just have one thing to ask you. Just got finished working out. My question on this video is do you work out? And that's a serious question for a woman in physical reality, being that men, men are about the physical. They're visual creatures. And so do you work out? Do you take care of your avatar on the outside? We have a lot of women in the physical reality who believe that they are a nine or 10, but yet they're overworked, over, uh, I'm sorry, overweight. Especially in the black community, women don't want to sweat because of their hair and all kind of foolish reasons. I just got my hair cut well lined up yesterday, y'all, for my little transition. And I'm sweating. I just jumped on here. I don't want to be um, uh, in the camera right now because I am a sweaty mess. <laughs> but this message came to me while I was outside in the heat working out and I just wanted to deliver it while it was on my heart from my heart to yours are you taking care of your body if a man is a physical a visual creature he wants somebody this is just my opinion and this is just me th telling you what I'm sharing based upon me being introverted based upon me understanding human nature psychology and men because i love black men and from what i gather black men tell me in the comments if i'm wrong from what i gather <laughs> they want somebody has a trophy somebody that has the ability to make him look good you know somebody that represents him like okay i'm a man of status and this is the woman that i no, it's valuable. I'm taking care of this right here. And so when we let our weight get the best of us <laughs> and don't, that is not something that he can can really brag per se, you know, to his boys about, so to speak. Pay attention to men, ladies. They they get those cars that will wake you up in the neighborhood with the low, you know, the loud engine you know they get those trucks that are really really big you know they they always want to boast and brag and it it extends or exceeds all the way to the woman that he is married to and so maybe this is why in the dating world they get so many different women let me show her off you know let me see if this is the one because it's about seemingly when they're younger bragging points but when they decide to marry they want that woman that's going to re represent them in all aspects of life. And so it's not about bragging about your degrees and what you can do to be so strong as far as strength. It's about that feminine essence about you and maybe about your navel to hip ratio. I don't know mathematically. I don't know. I'm just on this journey myself. And I'm just doing this work on myself and I'm being accountable for myself. I've always been built, athletically built, you know, so it's easy for me to stay in shape. And now being a vegan, it feels so fun for me. And I wanted you all to see this side of me too, that I put in the work to work out five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'm off on weekends. And this is from my heart to yours. Take care of your body. Don't walk around here saying you a nine or a ten or you a dime and you the baddest chick when you all over the place physically. Don't walk around here and say, you know, some small chick. You know, you just make excuses. Some small chicks are not healthy too. It's not about small chicks. It's about your body. It's about your health. It's about putting yourself in a position where you can be... <laughs> You can be a value on somebody's arm if you are deciding that you want to be with a man. And and, and you 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 
you know there are other women out there, maybe more youthful than you. Why would you sit there and let yourself go and then get into denial about it? A perfect example of this, and I love her dearly, is Monique. I remember back in the day, she used to always talk about the skinny bees, you know, and she used to you know, do her comedy shows based upon it. But look at her in her older years, how she's always now telling people to lose the weight and encouraging them. And she's not saying skinny bees are evil anymore, you know, because she now knows that it matters. Sometimes we become ignorant to certain things or sometimes we'll put up a wall and say, okay, I'm thick, I'm thicker than a snicker or I'm, I'm the right size or I'm a handful or this is nothing but love handles and all these foolish things that we say about our weight but that's the thing that's drawing the man to you it is not you being a, a doctor it is not you being a lawyer this is not i mean maybe for a little little low class man that want to take your money but i'm talking on my videos for a high status man that you would look up to as a good provider a good leader good protector attracting something healthy into your life and go on other days that we're trying to attract anything that's not healthy for us so with that being said, you want to be at your good health. You want to be at your good weight. You want to be the a feminine divine woman in every aspect of the way. And that means sometimes getting up and lifting those heavy weights. That might mean getting on the treadmill. That might mean riding a bicycle or on the elliptical machine. That might mean getting some dumbbells. That might mean jumping ropes. That might mean sweating out your wig or your weave or your natural hair, or your perm or whatever it is that's in your head. But if it's going to take that, it is it's the sacrifice that you have to take if you want to be a feminine and woman quit being lazy and making excuses if you want to attract a man be in a position be be ready to to fight for it you know faith in the biblical text they say faith without works is dead so how is it that nobody want to do the work to take care of their body i said in previous videos many times over and over and talked about health and wellness and it is it is so shameful to even admit so embarrassing to admit that I would go and I would speak and I would sell my detoxes to, to black women and they would say to me, they would have the nerve to say to me, I'm, I'm afraid to try to detox. No, because I don't know what that's going to do to my body. <laughs> Obese women would say this out loud and I'll be like, okay, well, it's going to work for your body and not against your body. But to somebody close to me, you know, because some people's feelings, you know, get trampled on. But somebody close to me that I could really, you know, like a family member, if they were to say that to me, I would say, girl, you need to quit tripping. You need to get into reality. Look at your body right now. If everything that you've ate thus far has not done anything to it, herbs that are for the healing of the nation, is going to do better than anything that you probably put in there for the last 48 hours. Let's not be ignorant to the fact. Let's not be delusional women. Let's put our health, even if it's not for a man, if it's just for you. If it's just for your child. If it's just for you to survive. Take care of your body. And that might mean working out. It ain't all about just putting the herb in there and going to sit down and eating the Oreo later. These videos are from my heart to yours. I'm on a journey too. And in my journey, being feminine, being a divine feminine woman, <laughs> it takes discipline. It takes you mastering your emotions. This is why I started off my channel with mastering self. Mastering self within. Mastering your emotions. Because when you get tired, you got to say to yourself, no. I have to work out today. When that, when that bed tells you, stay in. It's raining out. Nope. You have to tell it, no. I'm going in the garage today. <laughs> You can do, be, or have anything in the physical reality that you want to. You just got to get on the frequency of it. And this is me. 
I am a living example of getting on the frequency of that what you want. This is me showing you. It seems like we don't have people like this in the physical reality in the black community that will sit there and tell you the real. We have a lot of bitter women that'll tell you all kind of foolishness. Yeah, they gonna have to just like me, like I am. Bull crap. I personally, let me tell you a secret. I personally, I don't like to see black men with sagging pants. If a black man come up to me with sagging pants, he is not getting my telephone number. I will still be nice to him. I would. But that's just a no-no for me. And so what I'm saying to you ladies is maybe, maybe they have some men in the physical reality that if you a certain weight, maybe that's a no-no for them. Maybe they have some men in the physical reality that if you wear weed, maybe that's a no-no for them. So don't cap yourself off. Don't let your weight cap yourself off. Don't let your look cap yourself off. Be a star. Be in the sky. <laughs> be that dime, that goddess. You be that, that, that savage. And a line of that song is, I talk big S, but my bank account match it. If you going to sit up here and talk about you divine, you talking big stuff, but your looks got to match it. <laughs> your looks got to match it too. Put in the work. And sometimes the work means you need to work out. And stop being delusional that you are the nine or the ten that you was when you was in middle school or maybe high school, or maybe you was never really the nine or the 10. Maybe those men was just lying to you to get between your legs. Sorry, I had to tell you that. Maybe you won't accept it from me because maybe you think I'm hating on you now. Yeah, the truth gonna hurt some people. The truth gonna hurt a lot of people on my channel, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's time for truth to be exposed to the black community, for black love, for balance in the universe. Because the truth is the only thing that's gonna set us free. Go work your ace out. <laughs> From my heart to yours, baby, get I gotta back. go. I don't know if I'm gonna see you again. Whew. But is it a good thing? Cause girl, I can't be your man. Is it the real thing, or is it just a one-night stand? Well then, let me see you get high, go low. 